Continuing from our last video, I'm still logged in as a teacher and I'm in my course and in the course settings. And as you can see, there are no theming options in my course right now. So what I need to do is log out from my teacher account and log back in as the admin. And then I'm going to go to the site administration. So these are the settings for the whole Moodle course, whole Moodle site, excuse me. And I'm going to go to appearance. And here there are various options for various parts of the, th the whole site that are related to theming. And if you go into the themes themselves, you have two things here, theme settings and theme selector. And actually, individual themes also can have their own options that you can select and modify. First, let's go into the theme selector. So one thing that's new with Moodle 2.2, I believe, is you have various device types. So you can choose your theme based on the type of device, for example, a laptop, an iPad, a phone, an Android phone. So you can choose, and legacy refers to, I believe, older themes um, for older browsers. So for most people, we'll be using the default which is for more modern browsers. But you also you can choose for mobile or tablet. So we are going to, just to see what happens, select a theme here. And basically you can look at a screenshot of all the various themes that come standard with Moodle or any that you have added. And if you like one, you just Click, click the Use Theme button. Very, very straightforward. So, so this will make the, the theme for the whole Moodle site. Now, also we have our theme settings. Now, here we have a few options. Now, each of these options has a checkbox, and it will tell you the default setting that Moodle comes with straight out of the box. This first one is not really important unless you are going to design your own themes. And if you do make your own theme, this will be very important and you'll need this on to, to see any changes you make. Now these next three allow user themes, allow course themes, and allow category themes, allow various people to set the themes for the course. Allow user themes allows students, participants in courses to set their own themes. If you as a teacher want to make sure students view the theme that you have selected, leave this off. If you want to give the students some freedom, you can turn that on. Allow course themes is what you need to have on if you want teachers to be able to choose a theme that they want. This allows the overall Moodle to have a, a theme, but then with, within specific courses, you can change the theme. And I like to have that on so teachers can choose what they like. You can also have a category theme. For example, if you have if you work in a university and there's all you want all of the um, Moodle courses in the philosophy department to have the same theme, the same default theme, you can turn that on. However, if even if you have this set so that all of the, for example, philosophy Moodle courses have their own theme. If this is checked, the teacher, or if this is checked, the user, the student, can override the category theme. 
And there's a few other things that I don't worry about too much, but if I, so I encourage you to come here and check them out if you're interested. I like this new feature with Moodle 2.0 and above. You allow the blocks to use the dock. So you can see here this navigation is in the dock. So if you want that on, which is on by default, if you don't like that feature, you can turn that off. And there, there's a few other things, like for example, custom menus, which allows you to build in some menu options. I'll let you read that here. And device detection, I think these are all good things to have on standard. And I don't really play with these settings too much, so if you're curious, I encourage you to come here and then save changes when you are done. Now that we have turned on those, these two checkboxes, this one especially, teachers can now change their theme for their courses. As I mentioned, specific, specific themes have their own settings. So I'll randomly pick one. So the non-zero theme lets you choose the width of the columns, the left and right column. And also you can add some custom CSS. And if you want to do some easy theming within a theme, this is a, a pretty powerful way to do that. But I won't mess with that. But so quickly I've given you a a rundown of what an admin sees for theme settings.